For God's sake, Kingdom Hearts. For God's sake. Oh, for God's sake! Hey, you got a friend in me. Because I'm Jim Sterling, and I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, Kingdom Hearts 3 is quite a fine game indeed, is it not? Uh, I don't know why I'm saying is it not. I'm here to answer the question that you may be having. Uh, and I say you may be having because some of you already know what you think about it. In fact, you knew what you thought about it before the game even came out. And you're here to have your bias confirmed for you. And... If you want to hear that the game is very, very good and very, very fun, then it is my pleasure to confirm your bias and tell you that, yes, Kingdom Hearts 3 as a game is very fun, very entertaining, and an audiovisual spectacle. This game is gorgeous right off the bat, first and foremost. Uh, it might be a little bit tacky to dive right into the graphics to start with, but sod it. The game is marvellous to look at. Um, this is not something you could imagine has been in development for a thousand years. It looks very new, very modern, very sleek. The animations especially stand out. These are animations I would classify as luxury. These are luxury animations, uh, not just in all of the little keyblade swings, um, the little bits on Sora's clothing that move when he moves. Um, no, no, no. I mean, little details as well, like hopping over a rock. You can be walking around the environment and Sora moves over a rock or a step but puts his hand on it and does a little hop over it. Um, if you walk past Goofy or Donald uh, he'll actually push past them. Uh, just the little details like that make the game feel lively and uh, uh, energetic. Uh, and to say nothing of just the bright, colourful visual style that the game has and the authenticity of the Disney worlds that have been brought to life in the Kingdom Hearts series in a way like none other, thanks to the modern excess of technology. I mean, just look at that. Look at that wanton buggery on the screen right there. Um, there are many different attacks. Uh, almost overwhelming, but because the game has a fairly straightforward uh, control scheme uh, with very contextual attacks, you never feel fully overwhelmed. Um, as well as your usual ability to cast a magic and swing the keyblade, you have attraction attacks, which is what you saw a moment ago with the pirate ship, Disney rides that have been weaponized. If Kingdom Hearts 3 has taught me one thing, it's that Disney rides are bloody dangerous. Bloody dangerous, whether you're swinging on a pirate ship or riding the mad teacups around, just smashing people, uh, I say people, just smashing the weird little heartless things uh, with your teacups. Uh, there are those. There are form changes where you can uh, use your Keyblade enough to change the way it behaves. Uh, you can use the Keyblade I got here from Olympus and turn that into a shield, which you can use to block attacks and counter them with a big Herculean punch. Uh, you've got a, a Keyblade that can turn into guns and you fire those. And all of those have special attacks tied to them uh, so not only have you got a shield that can make giant fists punch things you can then summon pegasus and ride around uh, casting lightning while not really knowing where the hell you're going because the camera's struggling to keep up with it but it doesn't matter because there's so much chuffing lightning everywhere you're gonna hit something uh, as well as that you can do team attacks with your Donald and your Goofy or whoever you're in the world with at that time. You know, if you're in Corona, uh, Rapunzel can snatch you up in her hair and swing you around. And it all looks amazing and makes you feel very powerful as well, which is the important thing. Um, and the combat is just a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun to fight things. If I had to complain about anything with the combat, I would say maybe... Uh, Sometimes you feel like you don't get quite the responsiveness from Sora when it comes to avoiding or evading damage. Um, you get, a, for example, an air recovery skill um, quite some time into the game when I feel that could have been something more immediate to the player. By the time I got it, uh, my muscle memory has struggled to... Uh, uh, incorporate it into the ever-expanding resume of attacks that Sora has. Uh, and there are some moments where I feel like I'm being hit and the moment I'm ready to move again, I've suffered another hit and I'll just get hit. Not quite stunlocked, but 
certainly uh, take a few more hits than I feel like I could have if I were able to more readily dodge. Dodging and blocking overall just feels a bit stodgy to me, but the actual attacks uh, are great. The, the fluidity of Sora as he moves around, swinging the Keyblade, diving up in the air, attacking in the air, uh, coming back down, firing off spells. It's so quick uh, and efficient and feels great. It's one of those games where you can say it just truly feels good to fight in it. As for the story, it's Kingdom Hearts. You know what to expect. Heart to darkness, heart darkness, heart darkness. When it's just Disney shit, that's fine. But every time one of Organization 13 showed up, one of the two Organization 13s, every time one of those walking hairstyles turned up, I just tuned out because they spelt total gibberish and it makes my head hurt. But I have learned that a heart can live anywhere, even in data. Uh-huh. Anyway. Um, I'll, you know what, I, I harp on about Kingdom Hearts story too much in my life. I'll just let Mickey explain it to you. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. How do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? You can't explain that. You know, I plan to have more footage, but uh, all of the footage I captured in Tangled Land, which is what I call it, uh, got messed up. So it's just Toy Story for you, which is fine because... I love Toy Story. I used to stay up. I went through this weird period in my teens where I would watch Toy Story at 2am every night for quite a while and I don't know why. I, I have no idea why but I'm very well versed in the first Toy Story film as a result and it's great isn't it? I mean not just the film but as it's rendered here. As are all of the Disney worlds, there are more contemporary Disney films here, which to someone like me, who's full and completely out of touch with pop culture, uh, as it pertains to modern times, isn't too good. Uh, I'm familiar with The Big Hero 6, but Tangled, um, anything past the first Pirates of the Caribbean film, uh, I don't really know. I don't really know that stuff. Uh, and Frozen, I've seen it. It's all right. I mean, it's it's no big trouble in Little China, is it? If we're being 100% honest with ourselves. But it's fine. It's all fine. And the Disney stuff is charmingly well done. Uh, you can just tell there's a difference between stuff that's cribbed from real storytelling and the Kingdom Hearts waffly shite. Kingdom Hearts 3 is pretentious and it's in love with itself, but as a game with gameplay in it, as many games have, it's excellent. It's excellent on a technological level, it's excellent on a mechanical level. Uh, if I could stand its cutscenes, I'd probably be looking at this as a game of the year contender, but the fact that so many cutscenes occur in between all of the great gameplay and I can't bear most of them, uh, it's just a it's a big drawback to me, and not one that's going to apply to everyone. There are some people who have religiously followed all of these plot lines, these myriad plot threads, and actually care what happens to one of any number of Xehanorts that are wandering around the place, and the nobodies and the heartlesses and the data scans, and the hearts and the darkness and the darkness and the hearts. Um, the rest of us just kind of have to muddle through and say, you know, oh, when's Olaf going to talk again? I like that. I get it when the snowman talks. Uh, but all of that aside, uh, it looks amazing. The music is delightful, as one might expect from Kingdom Hearts. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And it's something of a testament to the game that I do wish it would shut up more so I could play it more. Uh, because playing it is a, a thing of beauty. It, it's a beautiful game. And if you can deal with all of its Kingdom Heartsiness, you're going to have a ruddy bloody good time with it. Look, it's Toy Story! Come on!